so. This guy that went you were interested in all along. That's why you were tailing Martin Duval. That's why you're now interested in Raven. That is why you're interested in Raven, isn't it? Look, all I want is the truth. Did Jefferson Brown die in that plane wreck? I can't tell you whether you're right or wrong or not, but I can tell you that you're probably wasting your time. Well, it's my time. And Fowler Wilcox was my father. He died with the whole world thinking he was a traitor to his country. I have to prove them wrong. I'm not trying to ignore your problems. As a matter of fact, I want you to know the reason I saw all those people today was because I was thinking of you. Drink? Please. I want to help you, Sky. You know about that investigation on Dr. Bryson, right? Yes, I do. All right, well, April's husband, Draper, is the head of that investigation. He is going around trying to find the names of all those people who had their faces changed, and he wants to know the reasons. And doesn't that worry you a little bit? But I appreciate your concern. Well, I just thought I would see if Draper was on to anything. Well, I can tell you the answer to that. If Draper is looking for records of Dr. Bryson, he's not going to find any because Dr. Bryson never kept any records. All the patients were given were numbers, and that's all. There were no photographs around, or if there were any that were taken for surgical reasons, they were all carefully destroyed after the procedure. And he did not allow any photographs to be taken afterwards. I'm sure that disappointed his daughter. She was a photographer. Oh, is that the reason that you went to see Valerie? Because you were concerned that she might know our little secret? The reason I went to see Valerie is because April told me she was in love with Lieutenant Diedrichson, and that was you. Well, that's another thing that you don't have to worry about, because as far as she was concerned, I was just a fantasy figure. I was the war hero coming home to get his face fixed so he could rejoin the human race. Oh, how romantic. It was a way to pass the time, Raven. Okay. Okay. Just don't pass any more time with her. Uh -huh. I have no intention of doing that. When I saw her walk through that door the day before we got married, I was not pleased. I'm sure you were shocked. Mm -hmm. But she had no idea why I reacted the way I did. Or maybe she thought it was because, you see, she had been with the original Sky in Switzerland. Do you suppose they slept together? Uh, I don't know. According to him, no woman could resist his charms. Oh. Pig. <laughs> but the only thing you were concerned about was Lucerne and whether or not she recognized you as Diedrichson. She didn't. Not even a glimmer. What about your voice? I changed it slightly, and the bandages helped. Weren't you concerned? Hmm. Wait a minute. You were concerned. You offered her a job. You tried to get her to leave the country by having one of your companies offer her a job abroad. Well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Well, that was a wonderful idea. I wish you would have accepted it. I just assumed she weren't in this country. I think she's a little too cute for her own good. <laughs> You don't have anything to worry about. There is nothing that's going to come between us. It's much too important to me. To us. Oh, it feels so good to have you by my side, to have someone that I can share my secret with, share my life. Sometimes it is a bit too adventurous. What do you mean? Is there a problem? What's wrong? Uh, nothing I can't handle. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Whitney, uh, Mrs. Whitney. Uh, Chrissy wants to know if you plan to be home for dinner. <sighs> I don't even know when I'm going to be home. I'm, I have so many things to do. I'm going to miss my hair appointments. Gunther, do you have the time? Time? Oh, oh yes, I do. Uh, 